I've known George Alexakis and Stavros Arnautakis for a number of years now. In his role as Vice Governor of Crete, George has been a strong and outspoken advocate for the issues of insularity that face both our regions, the Azores and Crete in Europe. Connectivity, maritime issues, development and economy, European funds or the role of the young, and the need for a European project that truly understands and values the role of regions have been some of the key issues that George Alexakis has upheld and defended at different levels in the contexts of the European Union. That is also why he has been one of the Vice Presidents of the Conference of Maritime and Peripheral Regions of Europe, an organization that summons around 160 regions and represents almost 200 million people across Europe. CPMR is an organization that I'm proud to lead. Together with Stavros Arnautakis, candidate governor, I know they will continue to be strong advocates for the specificities of Crete and other Greek regions in Europe. Most importantly, George is also a true defender of the European project. And in a year where Europe is about to take some important decisions that will affect the immediate future, but also its long-term prospects, regions need leaders that understand those issues, know what they want for their regions, and, then, and that can defend those positions with the new leadership that is about to take place this year in the European Union the European Commission, Parliament, and other EU institutions. I know that Stavros and George are this kind of leaders. I know their work, their commitment, and their competence. I am confident that if George Alexakis and Stavros Arnautakis receive the confidence of the people of Crete in the next regional elections on May 26th, they will surely continue to assume this role. I wish George and Stavros the best of luck for the upcoming elections and hope to continue to count with their action and their support in favor of a true Europe of regions in the near future.